Hello everyone and welcome to another Ice Craft video. So this week Anne-Marie is doing a Bible story that features a lot of light and so I thought for our craft today we'd make a lantern to help us remember the story. You're going to need a few different items so I'll tell you what you need, you can collect the bits and bobs and then we'll get crafting together. So first of all you're going to need some paper or card. I've got orange card here because that's what I had lying around, but you can use any colour you like and you can use paper and if you have white paper, no problem, you can just colour it in and make it look the way you'd like. And then you're going to need to use a pencil, make sure you sharpen it well so the lines are nice and clear. Then you're going to need to use some scissors, make sure they're scissors that fit your hand well and if you need supervision from an adult, please do ask for it to keep yourself safe. Then you're going to need some sellotape or a stapler. Now I happen to have sellotape at home, so that's what I'm using, but a stapler will do the same job. And then you're going to need to use a ruler. Now I would show you my ruler, but I've lost it as I have just moved house and I've packed it somewhere. So for me, I'm going to use a straight edge on some cardboard. So if you don't have a ruler at home, no problem. Just use a straight edge like me, but if you do have a ruler, That'll be a lot easier. And then finally, you're going to need to use some things to decorate with. And feel free to use your imagination here. You can use different colouring pencils and pens. You can use stickers or stamps. You can even use those little things that cut out shapes in the, in the paper. Whatever takes your fancy. I've got two things I'm going to use. So I've got some cool glitter glue that I'm going to use. And I've got some colouring pens. So those are the things I'm going to decorate with but use what you have. So get those things together and come back and we'll get crafting. Okay, so here we are with our piece of paper or card. The first thing we're going to do is cut off a strip to make a handle. And the way we do that is by taking our ruler or our straight edge in my case, lining it up, maybe about two centimeters on either side, and then take your pencil and draw a line. Okay. And then just cut along that line with your scissors. Brilliant. Now put this bit to the side for now. We're going to use that later. Now we have the rest of our card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this edge to this edge until it's folded in half. And then I'm going to crease lightly, not too sharply, on that edge. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw lines from the folded edge to the loose edge. But I'm not going to go all the way. I'm going to stop about two centimetres in before it gets to the edge. And I'm going to draw quite a few of them, maybe two centimetres in between each. So watch what I do, and then you can do the same. So take your straight edge or your ruler, line it up about two centimetres from the end here, and then take your pencil and draw from the folded edge and stop about two centimetres before the edge of the fold. We're going to do that until we're at the end of the paper. So about two centimetres and draw and stop. Move it along, about two centimetres. You could measure this if you want to be really neat. And draw and stop, move it along. We're going to finish the rest of that side. Okay, so when you're done, you should have lots of lines drawn like this, not quite getting to the edge of the paper, a couple of centimetres there, but reaching all the way to that folded edge. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut each of those lines. But don't cut to the end because it'll fall off. So you just want to cut to where the line finishes. 
Can you see? I'm cutting and then I'm stopping so it's still attached. Do that all the way along. So when you're done, you should have something like this. And when we open it up, both sides have been cut. And so eventually, it's going to look like this. But before we do that, we need to decorate because there's a nice space here and at the bottom that could look quite colorful. So now's the time to get really creative, stick stickers, do stamps, draw, use glitter pens like me. You can even stick some of that brightly coloured washi tape at the top and the bottom to make things really interesting. Be creative, do what you'd like. You can just put lots of different designs, maybe design all the things that you really like or you could do pictures of light uh, on there as well. Uh, so flames and starbursts if you'd like, whatever you'd like to make it look really good. Okay, a few hours have passed and my glitter glue has dried and now it's time to construct our lantern. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one end, we're going to take the other end and we're going to join them together here. Can you see that that's how it's going to look when it's done? So I'm going to sellotape this here and this here or I could staple if I had a stapler to join it in place. So, I'm going to get my tape. There we go. You might want to ask someone to help you hold that in place if you're struggling. Um, it can be a bit tricksy sometimes, but that's one end. And... Okay, so as you can see, we've got this cool lantern shape. Now, last thing is we need to make a handle. So that's when this piece comes back into play. And again, we're going to sellotape or staple these two bits to either side of the top here, like that. So again, get your sellotape or your stapler. like that and then press it in just like that push it down and do the same on the other side so sellotape I'm gonna make sure I do it the right way around yep no nope, that way <laughs> easy to get that mixed up bend it press it down give it a good press and there we have a lantern. And you can use this to make some beautiful light in your room. You could put some fairy lights in there or a battery operated tea light and the light will come through these beautiful slits. Now do make sure you don't use a real candle because it is paper and it will not be safe. So use something battery operated or some fairy lights. But you can look at this and it can remind you of our story this week thinking about how a light shines in the darkness and everyone can see it. So we don't hide it, we let it shine. Well, I hope you enjoy this week's craft and I look forward to hearing how you get on with it. I'm going to say goodbye for now, but I look forward to doing another craft again with you soon.